Hello everyone and welcome to this Henrik explains the bounty system. So first let's hear what Henrik has to say and uh, then I will say my conclusion or my, um, I don't know, my concerns. Star Wars Galaxy inspired system that was awesome in that game. I enjoyed it very much and I think we can have it working in a similar way in Mortal Online. You can pretty much sign up and work as a bounty and progress as a bounty hunter, getting new titles and access and different tools eventually. We start out with quite some basic tools. It's like the tracker, tracker tools for the bounty hunters to find those murders with a bounty on their head. And they have the killing rights to um, kill them at any place, including in cities which you know cities will not allow war conflicts happening in their nations in their cities the only thing that would be allowed in a city is a uh, bounty hunter doing his business with kill rights a duel and guild duels that that's it if you want to sign up for a bounty hunter you visit a specific uh, npc and you will pay a fee to start doing some job there so you will get a last known about from one of um, one possible murder in the in Mirland. you will also get a la last position and distance uh, and that means you get kill rights for that murder uh, and from this npc you can also buy different tools for the bounty hunter such as a very specific uh, bird that is trained to track targets and uh, pretty much update you <clears throat> so this means you can buy some of those tools you head out towards the decision you, the la last known about from this guy you're hunting and when you're there and you don't see one you can send out a new bird to scout um, the murder and that b bird will give you indication of uh, where he may be now so there's always a s small delay almost like stream sniping guys <laughs> you know watching the stream there's what 30 second delay so it can be tricky to find the guy you, you're looking for when someone is streaming a very rough um you know um comparison but anyway this this bird will give you the location and uh, distance pretty much so you can continue hunt these murders and then obviously when you do see them they are not protected in any guard city whatsoever because you do have the kill rights which means you will see him in a very specific color and you can kill him whenever however and take his head and you'll have his name on the head and uh, obviously you'll go back to your bounty hunter put it in you will get bounty hunter score and uh, some rewards tied to that as well um and titles and different tools that you can also access the deeper you go into this profession so pretty cool system that engage both sides in an interesting way galaxy the jedi didn't know they were being hunted only after the bounty hunter showed up yeah and pretty much the same here as a murderer you don't get a indication that you're hunted a bound hunter may show up at any time and if they have, have the kill rights not even the guards will protect you so it's the it's the dangerous path obviously to walk as a murderer but uh could be exciting as well obviously with a hit list on a thousand gold because if you see that your head is worth a thousand gold on a bounty that the games gives you obviously there's nothing i mean there are there are uh, mechanics that makes it difficult but if you know that the game will give you this um, players can start working against trying to get that bounty yourself so that is also why there's a randomized system behind who gets the bounty rights and um, there are specific specific war and and penalty that is you know obviously difficult to abuse but we do want to have again it's a free sandbox you know where players can decide ah, i want to put 100 gold on this head if if someone brings me his head he, he will get the 100 gold you know it's it's up to the players that that, that will always be a function that could be available as well in this system so players can also add to that if they want to and uh, whoever gets the head may also get <clears throat> get that bounty <clears throat> if you see 100 gold on your head you can't <clears throat> just kill yourself and uh, put it in there's no automatic uh, put it in and you get it so in this way uh, any bounty hunter that signs up gets the kill rights 
so it's only him that get those can get those rewards but we can also support where any player can also choose to add i want to add additional 10 gold on this get heads <clears throat> on this guy's head because i don't know i don't like him uh, and the first one to fill that order may get that uh, price so you see a little bit how it is so yeah the bounty hunter system is highly anticipated and very exciting because as we always said those reds running around obviously they there are many that obviously are pvpers and you know want to find fights jump noobs jumps anyone when there's opportunities correct and now they will get even more actions by you know you always have to watch over your shoulder you never know if there's a bounty hunter coming to collect you and that was super exciting and successful in Star Wars Galaxy as well so high value for those that are wanna you know go up on the rankings to be a bounty hunter or become the most wanted players and uh, very exciting conflicts between those that are interested in that how's the tracking bar gonna work do you need a quick control no so this is one of the tools for the bounty hunters uh, <clears throat> I've been talking a little bit with Matt's you know how we tie it correctly into the lore and such uh, so, you know, names and such are not final yet, but in general or in short, how the feature is working is that uh, when you're talking to these bounty hunter embassies, you're able to uh, buy certain tools. And one of the base tool here is a tracking device or tracking animal that simply uh, allows you to access it if you are one of the signed up bounty hunters. So you don't need specific skills to release this. You just send it up in the air and that will start scouting and track your target for you. And you will get the data after a certain amount of time. And you can, you know, tracking, get closer and closer. Um, so yeah, no specific skills required to use that from starting on. How do we gain from bound system? So you will get score. You can get up on a rank or ranked list to show that I'm one of the most famous bound hunter in Nave or Mirland. And you can also access titles and such and getting specific access to different services and tools and items. So it's something we can also expand on a lot, depending on the interest in this area, obviously. I have just one concern and maybe it's stupid, I don't know. So when I go with 20 people into a dungeon and I have one murder with you and a bounty hunter is uh, behind them and knows exactly where we are, for example in the minor dungeon or, or stuff like that, and he just don't collect the bounty. He's just um, using this tool to track down people. So for example, someone like that never collects the bounty. I mean, on paper, it looks like a very good system, but I think in practice it won't work. I'm not sure what will happen, but I can, I can guarantee you that people will use the bounty system just to track down the location of people and the location of guilds or other um, players of interest. For example, if you um, have an enemy guild and stuff, um, you will um, always use the bounty board with all your guild members just to get one interesting name and to track them down wherever they are. And don't collect the bounty, of course. But maybe there's a timer. Um, maybe this is not possible. I think the whole system sounds pretty good. Um, hopefully it will work, like Henrik said. And then everything is alright. So please leave your concerns or your feedback and stuff in the comments, please. So special thanks to all the supporters. Carmel, Professor Oslam of Game, Wolverine, Rose, Spice, Strange, Mitty, Nero, Rose, Spice, 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 Rose,